In addition to that massive resort, Cocoa Beach also getting ready to break ground on a 27,000 square foot food hall, complete with 12 restaurants, a brewery, and more. Yeah, the concept of putting multiple restaurants under one roof is really taking off here in Florida and all across the country. New at 11, Treasure Roberts is in Orlando speaking to a man opening his new food hall in the same spot where one just shut down. The hall on the yard in Ivanhoe is no more after it was sued and evicted by its landlord. Now, a new concept called City Food Hall is coming to this space. A lot of the feedback we got so far is they want to see um, engaging entertainment. They want to they want to vibe a local vibe here. A new owner is in town and says he has taken note of what the people want to see here. Peter Rounds is the founder and CEO of City Food Hall. He operates food halls across the state, including in West Palm Beach. This new location is set to open before the fall in place of what was once the Hall on the Yard. A lawsuit filed by the hall's landlord, Ivanhoe Place Prop Co., shows the food hall's parent company didn't pay their rent after receiving several notices. The suit claims the hall owes nearly $250,000 in rent and utilities. We were um, there quite a few times. The restaurant model didn't work well. Food was good, but there were lag times on getting the food when you ordered it. Round says he's excited to breathe life back into this building with the new model. They can come in here and have a coffee or come in here and have lunch or come in here and work or come in here and play golf in our multi-sports simulators upstairs. Do you think this food hall is a good opportunity for food business owners who don't have a brick and mortar? This is that's exactly what the business model is predicated upon. It's 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 really helping them perfect their concept or business in a much less risky environment. Rounds is currently looking for food vendors who can help him provide an unforgettable experience to the community. Beyond trying the different cuisines, customers can also play chef. As you can see here, we've got a glass kitchen, so we can get groups of 10, 12, 15, 20 people can come in there and learn how to cook their food and then come out here and, and enjoy what they've what it's they've created. Idea. He believes under this new concept there will be something for everyone. How do you want people to leave this establishment feeling? Like they haven't had enough. In Orlando, Treasure Roberts getting results, new six. And that's how you know it's a good place. Yeah. I love a good food hall because you go with several people, everybody can get a little bit from here and a little bit from there, and then you meet at a table. You yeah. don't have to decide, do we just have pizza? I have a family of five. Not once in the history of the Austin family has everybody agreed on a place to go. Yeah, so if that you all would be have great. different options, it works out. Yeah, well, that's I fantastic. I hope it works out. I hope so, too. That um, crashing sound you heard as I was reading that intro was an earring dropping on the desk. We're all fine. Yes, nobody threw an axe at us or anything. <laughs>